today we are going to discuss about trigonometry of class 10th okay what is trigonometry why we are using trigonometry in our daily lives okay what is the use of right angle triangles in trigonometry okay let's start what is trigonometry trigonometry is nothing but a study of shapes nothing but is a study of shapes try what is try try means three Gona means sides. Metri means measurement. Metri means measurement. Three sides means you will get triangle. Triangle. Triangle consists of how many sides? Three sides. But mostly we use right angle triangle. Why we are using right angle triangle in trigonometry? We are saying that we are using trigonometry is nothing but about different triangles. You are having so many triangle, as well as a triangle, equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means 60 degree angle. One of the angle must be 60 degree. Okay. But uh, human beings are really lazy. Remembering three angles is difficult for them. So what they decided, why not put one angle as fixed so that it is better to remember other two angles for the purpose mostly we use we use right angle triangle as a base for solving all the problems by using trigonometry technique just take an example this is your right angle triangle right angle triangle a b and c is your right angle triangle in right angle triangle one angle must be 90 degree and some of the angles of right angle triangle must be 180 degree 180 degree suppose a it is a ground level suppose it is a ground level a person is standing here his height is suppose 5 centimeter uh, and this is the height of your school building this is the height of your school building and the distance between a person and a school building must be your 10 meter suppose okay if a person is standing here and seeing the top of the building, one angle will be formed. That angle will be given name as theta. Theta represent any angle. Angle. Suppose if a person moves 5 meter towards the school. Okay. If a person moves 5 meters towards the school and he is standing here and seeing the top of the building its angle changes its angle changes we can easily find out the height and distance of the top of the building by using a mathematic technique called trigonometry trigonometry so solving this kind of problem you required sides and angles with the help of sides and angle you can solve this kind of problem because there is a there is a relation there is a relation between there is a relation between sides and angle you will say why right angle triangle for every figure you will get right angle triangle yes suppose take an example if a pyramid is there okay if a pyramid is there if you are dividing pyramid into two parts you are getting a right angle triangle because it is a, one of the angle must be a 90 degree okay to solve this kind of problem we require trigonometric ratios